Now, in the past, we've discussed both Sling TV and Direct TV now separately, but we wanted to pit them against each other because if you're deciding on a streaming TV service, these will usually be the two you end up deciding between. And the winner is actually pretty clear. And since this is YouTube, you can go ahead and skip right to the end to get the answer. It is a beautiful thing. But we do have actual reasons for picking the winner we did, so let's dig into those first. All right, let's start with everyone's first concern, price. If you're switching from traditional TV to a live streaming service and your only concern is lowering that monthly bill as much as you possibly can, then Sling TV wins pretty easily. The base package on Sling is 20 bucks a month with the most expensive plan coming in at $40. Contrast that with DirecTV Now, which starts at 35 bucks a month and goes all the way up to 70. So yeah, Sling TV is just straight up cheaper. But there's more to the story than just raw numbers. And you know what they say, you get what you pay for, usually. Now we're getting into the real meat of what it means to choose between Sling TV and DirecTV Now. It would be really easy to write off DirecTV Now when you hear that its base package costs almost twice as much as Sling TV's base package. But like I said, more to the story. So now if all the channels you want are on Sling's cheapest package, that's great, problem solved. But for a little less than twice the price, DirecTV Now will deliver a little more than twice the channel count. So the cost per channel is lower with DirecTV Now versus Sling. Whether you'll actually use all of those channels, well, the stats suggest that you won't. And that's why ultimately we prefer the Sling model, which keeps the package prices really low and then offers a whole bunch of add-ons. There are add-ons for sports and premium channels and French channels and whatever you're into. There are more than 20 add-on options actually, which like I said in this review, uh, it doesn't really take us into full a la carte territory, but it sure feels a lot more like it than anything we've gotten up to this point. But one place that DirecTV now absolutely wins is in the premium channels. HBO, Cinemax, and Stars are $5, $5, and $8 on DirecTV now. Over on Sling, you're looking at 15, 10, and 10. So if some combination of those channels is a must for you, do a little math first to see which service is actually cheaper once you add in all the premium channels. Now this one is pretty simple. Sling TV has cloud DVR capability, DirecTV now does not. Sort of, uh, it's not quite that simple. As of this recording, DirecTV now is actually beta testing their cloud DVR with a few of its subscribers, and the plan is to roll out the service later this year. Now, cloud DVR is a little different from your traditional DVR. It lets you record shows and save them for later just like normal, but because everything is stored in the cloud, it works without a physical box. There are limitations that we'll get into, but Cloud DVR is great if you're on the go and you have an internet connection. In my opinion, adding, adding the DVR to your Sling subscription is definitely worth the $5 price tag. But just because it's worth five bucks a month doesn't mean that Sling's DVR is great all around. There's a 50 hour limit, which, and I cannot stress this strongly enough, you will reach quickly. And as I mentioned above, to watch it on the go, you must have an internet connection. You can't download the shows to watch later. Lastly, a huge omission on Sling's DVR is that you cannot record any channel owned by Disney. Unfortunately, that does include ESPN, ABC, and Freeform. I'm guessing a lot of people signed up for Sling's DVR and then were very disappointed when they tried to record something on ESPN. Now, we won't have to wait long, hopefully, to see how well DirecTV Now answers with their own DVR. For them, I hope they can put out a decent product with fewer hangups than Sling's currently has. Now there are a few other things that we considered and I wanted to run through those quickly. Sling has been around for a while and is available on almost any device out there. DirecTV Now is newer and is playing catch up, but it is catching up and it's available just about everywhere Sling is. The big exception is Xbox One, where you can get Sling, you cannot get DirecTV Now. Neither is available on PlayStation, thanks to PlayStation View hogging that ecosystem, understandably, of course. This is live TV, so you can expect commercials just like normal. The worst part is that on both services, you rarely know whether your on-demand shows will have commercials or whether you can skip those that do. It's equally annoying, quite frankly, on both services. There are reports of bugs on Sling TV, but honestly, we never ran into them. DirecTV Now, on the other hand, gave us plenty of error screens. It's definitely better than when we first reviewed the service at the beginning of the year, but bugs are still a problem on DirecTV Now. If you're keeping score, it should be clear that our recommendation is Sling TV. Both services are decent and you'd probably be happy with either one. But if you spend a bunch of time with both services the way we did, Sling TV really does start to pull away as the better choice. 
between the DVR, the bug-free experience, and above all, the flexible pricing that gets us a little closer to that holy grail of a la carte TV, Sling TV definitely takes the cake there. Now, after all that, I do want to emphasize that DirecTV Now is not a bad service, and you can have a good experience there too. So yes, we generally recommend Sling over DirecTV Now, but I wanted to point out one exception, and that would be if you're an AT&T mobile customer with an unlimited plan. If that's you, then you should take a hard look at DirecTV Now, since it is heavily discounted compared to the regular price, as low as 10 bucks a month, actually. So, did we miss anything? Or do you feel like DirecTV Now should have won? As always, let us know what you think in the comments. And on your way down to the comments section, do me a favor, like this video, and of course, subscribe to our channel because there's a lot more TV and internet to explore. So I'll see you guys next time.